Hi there. Welcome to A Faithful Pause with the people of Trinity United Church in Prince George, British Columbia, situated on the unceded and traditional territory of the Kletle Tene. Each week, we take a few moments to pause and ground ourselves in our sacred story, a reminder of whose and who we are as people seeking to walk in the way of the Christ. This week, we're offering two pieces for you along with a blessing. So we invite you to get as comfortable as you can, relax in your chair, let the tension of the day, maybe the week or month, kind of seep into the floor. Turn things up if that's appropriate in the space you find yourself in and reflect along with us with the words, the music, and the images. Together, let's join in a faithful pause. For God so loved the world, the world, all of it, the whole thing, the land, the sea, the people, the creatures, the history, the future, the present, that God sent the Son, the One, the Savior, the Healer, the Storyteller, the Listener, the Table Turner, the Condemned, the Punished, the Cross Carrier, that all who believed, believed, trusted, believed, trusted, trusted, trusted him, that all who trusted should have eternal life, life to the full. For God did not send the Son to condemn, shame, punish, break the world, but that the world, the whole world, all of it, might be saved, brought back, renewed, resurrected, redeemed, celebrated, fulfilled through him. Our second piece is entitled, Harbingers of Light. Light is vulnerable and fragile, yet persistent and tenacious. Even the faintest flickering glimmer of light overcomes the darkness, uncovering what is hidden, bringing transformation and hope. Light is gentle, yet possesses a strength that presses on until the darkness is driven out. Not all at once, but bit by bit, defeated by light's refusal to give up. Light is resilient. Just at the moment when it seems it will be snuffed out, light recovers and grows stronger, creating shadows and patterns that signal its triumph over all that threatens its existence. May we be harbingers of light, protecting every gentle flicker and fanning into flame every tentative glimmer, suffusing the darkness of the world with the joyous light of Christ that cannot be extinguished. A blessing. As we turn towards the Incarnation at the end of one liturgical year, may you look back with joy and forward with anticipation. Christ is King. He lived, died, and rose again for all of us, for all of creation. Yes, that means you. May the love of God, the peace of Christ, and the guidance of the Holy Spirit be the blessing that takes you through the coming week. Amen. Friends, thanks for joining with us at Trinity United Church in Prince George, British Columbia. Each week we post something similar to this, and next week we'll be shifting our focus to Advent and then to the Christmas season. We hope you'll join us once again for a faithful pause.